Okay, so I'm out here today, sort them, and I've been testing some amazing new products that are coming to Savage Gear. These are really going to change my fishing and adapt um, to a new style that, I'll be honest, our lures haven't really covered before, so I'm really excited to get out and have a go with these. Now, <laughs> we've got winter on the way, and that means slow, lethargic fish, and Ned rigging is a great way to sort those fish out. Luckily for me this year, we've got an entire comprehensive range of Savage Gear Ned lures coming out from the little Ned Crayfish, Ultra Buoyant, Ultra Stretchy, Tough Material, to a tube jig modelled on a little goby. This thing's fantastic, lots of independent appendages that give off lots of micro movement and a lovely little fin to mask the hook. A salamander. Well, I guess to us guys, we could call it more of a new, and this thing's fantastic. It's got very thin ribbed body, so it holds a lot of air and it moves really wildly in the water. But when you do want to fish it as a static bait, it will sit there dead still and bolt upright. Again, little appendages, lots of little micro movements to draw in those lethargic fish. And finally, one that's really going to suit my fishing is a Ned Minnow. It's a really subtle paddle tail shad three inches and this thing's really going to slay whether it be for perch or drop shotted for zander or jig for zander it's going to cover a lot of different species and i think this is going to be a staple in my tackle box this winter i just can't wait to show you these because i've been out using them and have certainly been producing the goods That's a pike. <laughs> nah, I'll be alright. Bad one. Too feisty to let me grab him. There we go. Oh, just up from me, look. Feeding frenzy, just in there. Yeah, you got it. Just gonna go slightly further up and hopefully we'll um we'll coincide there. <laughs> Feels better. Yeah, it's a nice fish. <laughs> oh, is that a scraper too? Yeah, yeah that's beauty. <laughs> nice. There we go. Beautiful fish around the probably the pound and three quarters maybe even nudging the two pound mark on the savage gear ned salamander really beautiful thick fat fish perfect we'll sit this one back fishing with ned style lures can be very effective they're buoyant which makes them very easy for the fish to pick up all i do is i cast them out let them hit the bottom and just bounce them little bounce pause little bounce pause you can speed up and slow down your retrieve but if you start like that it's a good foundation to try and figure out what the fish want
So after finding some fish with the Ned Salamander, I returned the following evening just before dusk to have another pop at the perch shell. And this time, the conditions were slightly different. It was a little bit darker and I went for the watermelon coloured goby tube. And it all just kicked off in a mad 10 minutes. Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it's average. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think so. Right. Yeah, put a set pan. There we go. Can't lose food. <laughs> Now on the neck. Boom. Oh, yeah. That got quite small. <laughs> mm. It'd be nice to get the flash gun on that. And, uh... Yeah, it's really going to go with YouTube to work. Level two. Yeah. I don't think we're leaving here in daylight, are we, mate? <laughs> Gosh, it's so funny, I can barely feel the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the best one. I am both flipping this one. It's a two. I like that pan, mate. It's at the side of the boat. I thought you'd get a load of off. Like, mm. yeah. There's definitely some uh, there. Yeah. yeah, another reasonable one. There we go, so what a fantastic end to the session. It got close to dusk and I swapped over to the Ned Gobi thinking that a slightly more subtle presentation would produce a few good fish and it certainly did. I hooked into one good one and no sooner as I landed that I cast again and I lost another good fish and soon after I hooked another two great fish and they're all over two pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's exciting fishing, especially on a little two to 10 gram custom ultra light. It's one of those um, moments that will certainly stick with me for this season as a highlight so far, but I'm sure we'll top it yet. If you'd like to know a little bit more about the new Ned range, how to rig them, how to fish with them, check out the other videos on the Savage Gear YouTube channel. We've done some tutorials with each of the Ned baits, how to rig them, different styles to fish them, and hopefully, if you've not given this style of fishing a go, it will help you get to grips with it and really make the most out of it.